Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have an awesome, fresh, godly new video for you guys. Now we are all super, super pumped today as the new update just came out. So let's talk about it a little bit. We got the shop over here. The shop is fresh. Outlaw Colt, absolute god tier. He's looking like a babe. He's looking great. Then we got gold mecha crow. Now obviously we can't buy mecha crow. Nobody in the world can right now. Um... Uh, we could buy the Colt, but I'm going to save up, I think, for the gold mecha bow and then get his stuff. Um, the new shop's looking sick. I love the way the gem packs are placed, the coin packs. Everything's looking super, super clean. Um, now we got, we, got a new, we got two new maps actually in rotation right now. We got Sandy Gems, which I don't like that much. I know it's a new map. We're supposed to like it all. But I'm, I, I want more range in the game. I don't like mid-tier and auto aim brawlers. I mean, I do like them, but it, that's all we have in the game right now. I want more diversity, and this map doesn't bring that. And Beach Ball actually does bring that a little bit. Now, you're going to see more tanks. You're going to see long range, obviously. But it's actually a really good thrower-based map, which is going to lead us into the main portion of the video. We got our boy Tick over here. So we were first for a very small portion of the day. We just took a little bit of a break. Uh, we're currently 16th in the world. Um... We we're basically second for a long time until we slowed down. We did some friendlies. We're trying out Tick and all this. But he's super fun. Um, he's an underwhelming brawler. We're going to talk about what he's good at, what he's bad at in the next upcoming game. So with that being said, let's hop into the first one. So right here in the first game, we're going to be facing a Bull, a Frank, and a Jesse. And straight away, you can tell these are close-range brawlers. You know, outside of the Jesse, she's more mid-range. But these ones are close range, so what you're going to want to do is just spam the choke points as much as possible because they have to walk through the choke points, they have no other way of hitting you. So the Frank originally is just going to try and break our walls, he's not going to try, he is going to break our walls, which is a really good play by him. Uh, we got our super, now how you want to use the super, in Brawl Ball at least, you want it to hit a ball, or hit the, hit the ball carrier that they have because it knocks them off the ball. If you're not playing Brawl Ball, I would just hit somebody, literally anybody you can, who can't destroy it. Now using it as a shield also helps so for example the bulls right in front of me i'm going to drop it down right in front of me and it's going to be able to take out the bull but yeah that's how you're going to want to use that now we can't do a great job at taking out this turret because they can actually heal it faster than we can take it out which is very rare actually so we definitely don't want to focus on that we're going to be able to take out the frank and the turret there when we while we hit both of our shots we're going to use our super to try and take out the Jesse. We're going to get close, but we're not going to be able to, and the Jesse's going to two-tap us. Now, although we're doing a lot of work this game, you don't normally see this much work being done by Tig in a game. Just because they're super close, uh, close quarter brawlers that they have, and they can't really reach us. Unless they literally come up to us like they did right now. Again, we're going to use this as a body block, and it's going to hit the ball and do a ton of damage. It also is really good when you hit that to recharge your own super. So, like, I have my super basically recharged up fully. Um, I don't know why Yump is on Mortis, to be honest. Fade is going to try and go in. going to try and pass it to Yump. Yump isn't going to get the ball. He's going to bat that Frank. Now, this is going to be a really, really tough situation for us. I don't know how we're going to score, to be honest. We are going to give our best efforts. The only way would be that Rosa just going in. Oh, we're going to waste our super over there. That's really unfortunate, considering how powerful our super is. Yump is going to be able to catch the ball over there. Really good play by Yump, but it's going to be all for nothing as they're going to put the ball in the net. So it's 1 0. We got 30 seconds. I really don't see how we're going to score, but we're going to spam those choke points with the mines. We're going to get at least a couple hits. The ball is going to come right onto us over here. It's going to knock back our super. Our super is still going to hit it, and he's going to go down to one shot. We're going to be able to get that kill, actually. Okay, so we got the Rosa still alive. I don't know if Yump is alive or not. 10 seconds left, Yump is not alive, alive. it looks like it's going to be a GG. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and although we lost, I'm actually not that disappointed, let me tell you why. I have a little bit of just a spiel to, a spiel to come for you. Um, I don't, I do not like this at all. The fact that it's minus 3 at 300 is gross, it's ridiculous. It's way too easy now to get to 500 trophies. Lose 2 trophies at 200, like that, that's, that's just not right at all 500 is supposed to be like kind of the goal like if you get a brawler to 500 you're like wow i got it to this like semi pro level and then when you want to when you kind of consider yourself a pro that's when you kind of just go in and start to dominate and try and do more with it but like i it's too easy to get to 500 and on top of that they made it harder to push after 500 well actually at 500 to 600 it's easier but after that it's just way harder so like an 800 instead of being plus three is plus two 
Uh, Siege, there's no double wins, double losses. So for top players, you can streak double wins. So it's going to be super, super hard to push. Um, but yeah, that's just my little thing. I wouldn't have noticed that if I if we won all the games. So it's actually pretty good that we lost that game. But yeah, let's hop into the second game. And let's keep talking about Tick. So here we go into our second game. We're going to be facing a little bit more of a ranged team. So that might actually help our actual team out a little bit, even though it's not that great for Tick. So we're going to shoot those choke points as we did the last game. That's how you want to start literally every single game. We almost have our supercharged. Uh, we can see that the Shelly is in there. Yump's going to be able to take it out. And we're just going to shoot these choke points again that the bow is going to try and go through. Again, we can't aim our shots. Like, we can, but we can't go... We can't, like, tell exactly where the mines are going to go. Exactly like bow, where you can choose the general vicinity of where, where they're going to go. But you can't choose exactly where each mine pops. Uh, this is actually a really good combo just to get uh, a Tara pull and then using your uh, super. It's a really good combination. Yup is going to pass us the ball. We're going to put that ball in the net and that is going to give us the one to nothing lead. So brothers that you want to play with Tick, you obviously don't want to play another thrower along with Tick just because, you know, there's no point, you know, the thrower is Tick. You definitely want to play someone high DPS in Brawl Ball at least. So someone like a Colt, a BB is pretty good. I'm going to send that ball up there to Pug. That should end the game unless uh, the Shelly supers it, the Jesse gets it, which almost actually just happened. Pug's going to put it in. But yeah, you don't want to play another thrower. You can play a hot, you can play like a tank or someone high DPS, and then somebody mid range utility like a Carl, Anita, a Spike, a Jesse, and that would normally give you a pretty good comp. So we have the high DPS in the BB, and then the utility in the Tara. So let's hop into the third game and let's do a little bit of comparisons for Tick and talk about which brawler he's very similar to. Okay, so here we go into our next game and facing, a, again, two close range guys and a medium. Now, Brawlers that he's very similar to, um, this isn't going to be a huge shocker for you guys, but the two comparisons I'm going to give it are Mike and Barley. Now, why? Obviously, because he's a thrower. Now, the Primo's going to jump on us. It's actually pretty bad news. It looks like they are going to score. Oh, the Primo actually just threw. Okay. So anyways, um, back to the comparisons. I mean, I'd compare him way more similarly to Barley. Where's the ball? Okay, this is a bit panicky. Oh. Anyways, like comparing to Barley just because it like Mike is a high DPS brawler. Barley is more control. And that's what Tick is. Tick is a control brawler, you know, shooting a choke point, uh, where you think they're gonna move. It's it's just that that's just what he's like. You know, he's not really high damage, to be honest. Good super there by Yump. He's gonna be able to take out the uh, the Jesse. We're gonna get the Shelly pretty low. Yump might be able to put that one in. I'm not sure. No, he's not going to be able to. Pug's got his super, so hopefully you can do something with that. But yeah, anyways, the closest brawler he is to is Barley. If you're going to substitute someone for Barley, you could substitute Tick right now. Although he wouldn't do nearly as good of a, as a job. Like, Barley's on another level as Tick than Tick. They're just way too far apart from each other right now. But that would be the comparison I would give him. We're going to pass it to Yump, but he's going to have too low health to put it into the net. So a minute left, and they do have the lead. Again, it's going to be really hard for us to beat this like close-range comp just because they can jump on us, they can super us, and we don't do too well against it close-range. We're going to grab this ball over here. We do get triple tap by Jesse, which obviously is not good. Oh, our teammates went down. They're actually going to win the game. Okay. So that's not bad because, again, we only lose three trophies. It's super easy to push. But this is just a good showing for you guys that, you know, Tick is a really underwhelming brawler. But really, really good idea from Supercell to bring in an underwhelming brawler instead of someone who's super good because, you know, Supercell is about to go on vacation very shortly as they get their mandatory one-month vacation in July, I believe. And they don't want to put someone too strong in the game and just leave for a month and a bit. So it was actually a very good idea by Supercell to put in an underwhelming brawler. So props to them. You know, he doesn't have to be perfectly balanced. Might as well be safer than take the risk and try and make him balanced and he's too overpowered and you can't fix it. But anyways, back into the game. So we're going to put our super out. We're going to be able to hit that BB in our, in our super, whatever it's called. I'm going to have to check the name after this game. He's going to be able to kill the Rico. So that's going to be a quick goal for us 30 seconds into the game. And again, we're just going to shoot this choke point over here. They can't pass it at all. They're going to have to go around, which gives us an advantage to the ball, even though they did get it first. We're going to throw our super out. And it's going to be able to hit the BB. So key note about the super is it doesn't actually have to hit somebody. Um, they can destroy it, but it has it has like explosive damage. Um, so obviously, if they take it out and they're too close to it, it's just going to explode in their faces, and it's not going to work for it, work out for them very well. 
Uh, Yump should be able to take out that brawler. He's not going to be able to, but we're going to be able to assist him. He's going to be able to just to back off into the corner. Uh, we shouldn't go too close to that crow. I wanted to get a little bit close because it was looking like he was going to score, but he is not going to be able to get that goal. Yump. I don't know about that suck just because it breaks our walls a little bit, but he still was able to get that kill. Uh, we're going to be able to kill the BB over there in one minute left in the game. We are looking pretty good at this point. So again, BB does do well against like squishier brawlers, which is why you can see a lot more success in this game than the previous ones. We're going to launch our super. It's going to be able to kill that Rico, and that is going to end the game. So we're 2-2 two and two right now, plus 6 trophies because of the new trophy system. We're going to play one more game, and we're going to give you the final thoughts on the update, final thoughts on Tick, and that is going to wrap up today's video. So here we go into our fifth and final game and we're facing two squishier targets again plus a mortis so this should be a better game for us we're going to shoot those choke points the spike is already super low and we already took out that rico we got our super so that's super good we're going to pass that ball to puggy should be able to just walk it in yep he's going to take that shot and that's going to be a super quick goal 14 seconds so that's really really great we're going to put our super down over there, and even if it doesn't hit anyone, it's just going to serve as a distraction. They're already super backed up just because of the control we have currently. We're going to pass that ball to Pug as Pug snuck through the back. He's going to put it in the net, and that is going to end all of our games over here. That's going to end it all. We got the star. But anyways, I'm going to rate Tick at a 10. I'm going to give him a 5 just because he's super underwhelming. Again, he's, a, he's below average. He's not strong. He kind of reminds me of Carl when he came out, where he has this huge potential to be an absolutely broken brawler. Just Supercell is playing it safe, so props to Supercell for doing that. And for the general update, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I did really enjoy it. It's really good for top players. Um, there's a lot of endgame stuff that, that got added into this update, and just a lot of stuff that's really cool. A lot of cool cosmetics and all that, but just for the casual player, it was like a 4K or something, or even like a 2K who didn't, who isn't able to unlock Tick or get him in any way because he's a trophy road brawler. There's not much new for them especially if you're free to play so anyways that's gonna wrap up my video put in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed the update or not and what you guys want to see done with tick but with that that's gonna end my video i hope you guys enjoyed it and that's gonna be it for me today peace